Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to the series on how to build threads from scratch. In today's episode, it's going to be our last episode of this series on YouTube. The last episode we did for CodeWise was building our messages app, our messages feature, which didn't actually exist in the threads app. It would just push you to Instagram. And so at this point, we've gotten all the same features that threads has, but I want to create all these, every single time I do one of these courses, I want to build an actual app that goes in the app store. Cause it's one thing to build a test or dev app. It's another to get it ready for production and to actually have people use it and it work correctly. So that's the part that takes a lot of extra time. And there's like a lot of nuances sometimes around it and like small bugs that you catch along the way. So at this point, I wanted to show you what we built so far. So this is tldr.place. But before we get into that, just a reminder that if you want to get the full course with the remaining episodes of how to integrate with notifications, how to do location services. You'll see that in this app that we actually build a map and then we're using lat long to find locations within that map area that with that map bounds. So we're going to go over that. We're going to go over how to submit to the iOS and Android app stores as well. Go over to reactnativenerd.com to get the course or just reactnativenerd.com slash threads is this specific course. And you can see that. It's, it's all, the, all the course material, all the code will be there as well. Let's go see what we actually built. What we actually built was tldr.place. And the tldr on tldr.place is that it's a location services app. So like when you want to send, let's say you went to a, a destination or you live in a certain city and your friends are coming to visit and you want to give them suggestions instead of just sending them a Google Maps of the places that you've pinned. You can create a thread or on tldr.place of the location. So instead of me trying to explain, let's go through step by step. First, we're going to go through how our login system, the login system didn't really change at all. We're going to still going to use the phone number with the Twilio integration. And don't try to use this, this test number because I'm going to delete it by the time I publish this video. So we're going to create an account and I'm getting a bunch of alerts because it's a null account. So first we're going to do our username. So this is going to be test. And then of course we got to agree to the terms of service because this is required for this type of app for Apple. And then we're going to create our account. I added this page for select your city. Uh, initially I was asking for location services so that we could find places near them. Um, I know people, when they first download the app, the last thing you want to do really is to give this random app that you don't know your location, your lot long. Um, so instead I did this select city. And so these suggestions are going to be on each city. So we're going to have all these options to say, we want to go out New York city. Uh, so we're going to click that one as an option and we're going to click continue. And then we're giving the option for notification. So we're going to give them the ability to enable them now, or maybe later. And the reason why we're doing that is so that if you just prompt them right away and they say, no, the next time they actually are interested in enabling notifications, they have to go to their settings and explicitly enable it and then go back to your app to get that token. And we're going to go, we go over that in the notification course at reactnativenerd.com. Okay. First thing we see when we come in, it looks a lot like threads. And then I have all these posts. So all these posts are specific to New York city. So best happy hour deals in New York city for after work drinks, where to find the most Instagramable spots in New York city. So let's go click on this thread. And we could see it looks exactly like threads, but the big difference with our app is that we have location. So let's say the gray mare. So we want to go see where this place is. We're going to click on the map and it'll take us to New York city. And we can see, we have a lot of places pinned and that's because these are all the posts, but the specific place for this post was, I think this one. Yeah, there we go. The gray mare. And so we could do two things. We could click on view posts and we could click on the post that we just saw. And then this shows us the specific post, but if there's other places tagged with this location from Google places, which we did go over in the course, then it would show here as well. So you could see everyone's reactions or feedback to this specific place. And then let's say we want to navigate there, then you could navigate there as well. So that'll open up the Apple maps. So, and then this map feature is Apple maps. So we didn't actually need to pay for this. So there's a lot of options for maps so like. Uh, Google Maps API, there's the map box, which has actually gotten pretty expensive at this point. Um, but you can see in the lower left corner, there's Apple Maps. And this one's free since we're building this on Apple. So that's a really cool part. 
and we can see each one of these. That's the main gist of the app. So let's say I'm traveling to Chicago and then I want to find places in Chicago. So we can see top places for Italian beef sandwiches in Chicago. We can see all the suggestions and then we can see photos and then we can see Chicago on a map. And so it's a good way to put places that you're favorited. And of course, we don't have any places yet. We just created the account. But let's say we're living in Los Angeles and we have people visit all the time or they just ask for suggestions. We could create our own post, send it to them um, so that they can go to the map feature and uh, see the place for themselves. And I'm actually creating some of these posts with AI. So there's actually a Suvis job that runs every day and it has different topics. The first topic is this is the first one of the week. So this would be posted every Monday. This is check out what's happening this week in Chicago. And this is uses a couple of different APIs to figure out the location and what's going on in that location, whether it be concerts or things to do or uh, just general things in that area. So we could see maybe super familiar with Chicago. So let's go to Philadelphia. So top spots for soft bagels. Check out what's happening. So we got the Wells Fargo. So that's going to be a, has a photo of a, of an ice rink, but it's going to be for the Madonna at Wells Fargo. And then we have comedy. We've got nightclub. It changes every week and it's just based on what is going on that week in Philadelphia. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays or Tuesdays and Fridays, maybe it is, it has like just random topics about that city. So the ultimate guide to Philadelphia history, rich old city. And so these are different topics specific to the city. So like you wouldn't put the ultimate guide to Philadelphia history, rich old city. That's a very oddly typed sentence, but either way, um, and it has the things to do. So these are all independence, all the rebel center, the Betsy Ross house and Alfred Daly. Those are all good options. And we can see writing terminal market, cool, great place for from server some food. Violet Donuts, oh, great spot. The Knicks, cool. See, this is some really good suggestions. And then this is based off, this is using AI to find best places based on this topic that I fed it. So, and then we go through each one of these places. And then let's go into the app a little bit. Messages, all this is basically the same as our threads app. So we didn't do too much here. Follows, replies, mentions, bookmarks I did add actually. So in case I wanted to find a place that I really liked, I could, so we could go to this place and then I could click here and then I click more and I go back. Just, just places that I saved and I'm interested in going to in the future. And then profile, profile changes quite a bit. So let's say we're a big traveler and we want to travel around the world. Or we've already traveled around in Florida and we have places that we've been to that we love to suggest to people. I, I think I had a friend that just went to Australia. I had some favorite places in Australia that I went to. And then, so I created a thread for him to be able to see the place a little bit, what I thought about it and then location, and then they can navigate to there or not. And then also it'll find like places that we've liked. So if we go or loved, I guess you could say. So all these places, all these features work very well. And then we have settings. The only thing different here is we have a bio here, enable notifications is the same, upload photos, the same sign out, and then delete account. Of course, if they want to delete their account, that is our app as a whole. Oh, and here's also, we just moved this search page. So this search page used to be in the bottom left corner, but with their map feature, we moved it around. So this is, we could search by places, we could search by tags and we could search by people that kind of stayed the same. The big thing here was the map feature. I think it's pretty cool. You click on the map and you can see, okay, in this area, let's say I'm walking around old city. What's in old city. I could figure out Stratus. Stratus is a rooftop bar. Yes. Sophisticated rooftop bar in old city. And then we can navigate there if we're in the area. And so based off of this, we're using Google places API, which we talked about a little bit, but we just expand about expanded on that a lot in that, like when you create a post. It not only sh shares, stores all the Google Place information, like the photo, the, uh, the name, the location, like the address, but then also the lat long. And the lat long is what we use of the bounds area. Superbase has a cool functionality that we created a, and I create a whole course on this because it gets a little complicated, but you can find either places 
within a certain distance of you. There's a, a, f a feature in Superface that allows you to do that. Or for this, we're just doing a map bound. So this screen, we know the dimensions of the screen. And based on th those dimensions, we want to find the lat long of items in that screen. So if we move around, it'll change, it'll reload. And like now the screen view is a little different and we can see this is going to be running terminal market. We can find all the places in this area. Yeah, tell me your next. And so that's a, it's like a cool feature in app that I've always wanted to build um, because it's location specific. We've always, I feel like everyone's been in that situation where you're in a lo new location, you want to try out new things. Usually your go-to is friends that have been in that location. And then maybe if you haven't had a friend in that location to social media. So like, this is a good way to share best places with friends without going down the, the deep, dark rabbit hole of Yelp or Google places, just because there's just so many places. So it's good to hear like specific suggestions for spots in that area with specific descriptions. <laughs> this one's funny. Best soft pretzels. I mean, you can't really go wrong with any of these soft pretzel places. Oh, Annie Ann's. All the other ones are pretty specific to Philly. Miller's Twist, Philly Pretzel Factory, Center City Pretzel. Uh, Center City Pretzel was on there twice. Kind of fixed that one. But yeah, so that in a nutshell is tldr.place. Again, if you're interested in learning like more of the details, how to get into the app store, notifications, the map feature and lat long finding within a map box area, go to reactnativenerd.com slash threads. It won't be called tldr.place because that's my app is called. Um, and if you want to download the app and check it out, go to the app store and just type in tldr.place. You'll be able to find it, download it. It's live right now. would love to hear what you think. Start posts, put, putting some posts about things to do in your area and just say what people put. Even if it's not in this city, you'll still be able to share and see places in that area. I will probably add a feature eventually of just the rest of the world, or maybe you could search by a continent, whether it's North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Australia. So I'm going to keep on adding to this, but these are, this is the, the main features. Everything works, which is the core feature here, that everything works, everything's smooth. It takes a while to get a production ready app out. So I'd love to get you to test it and check it out. Hope you join me for the next series. I'm going to go over what AI can do and let's see when, how far we can take it. In this series, this is all hard coded. Uh, we use AI for some like inline suggestions, but very, we very basically scratch the surface. Um, I'll admit I was like a little, uh, hesitant to start using AI, but in the next course, I just do a three hour long live session on how to build our own locally local first finance app. So we'll see how many features we get in that one. So hope you check it out and see you next time. Peace.